Yeah, doing video requests. All these people giving me video requests. I didn't even see this, and it was six days ago. Sorry if it took me so long. I didn't even notice it was yonder. Okay. Next video request from J F L A N D R V O O. I know him. That's James. Okay. Next video request. Is there any way you can do a tonight video request on the hardest challenges bicycle touring in Europe? Was it the wind? The elevation, cold weather, heavy gear, language barrier, or what? What would you change? I'm still really into biking videos from when you were touring. I think that was awesome. Thanks, Matt. Okay. Oh, Matt. Thanks. Okay. Um, so, what was the hardest thing? Um, the hardest challenge bicycling touring through Europe? I think the hardest challenge bicycling touring through Europe is motivating to sleep in the bushes instead of getting a hotel. Uh, there are a few times where, see in Europe, Europe is really populated. It's kind of like the East Coast on steroids, I guess. I don't know. It's like just fucking houses everywhere, dude. And so, and it's also illegal to camp. And so it wasn't my idea to get busted camping. Um, and so, but I remember one time, you know, and I probably could have hid somewhere, but I got a hotel. And then another time I got a hotel because it was raining. And so the hardest challenge is to motivate yourself to camp in, camp in the bushes when it's raining, you know, or when, you, it's hard, or when you're in a super populated place and you can't find a hiding place. Um, that will save you like 65 bucks a night. That was the hardest part. Also, living on cheap food is hard um, instead of going and having more, more expensive meals. Nice pizzas and expensive meals are good and healthy and all that, but you can save so much money and you can travel for so much longer if you eat the way I do. I mean, I learned how to eat cheaply from living in my house. And if I were to go bike touring now, oh my God, I could do it really cheap. If I were to do it again, I were, or, you know, if the best way to do it, if you want to, you know, do it cheaply is to just canned food, man, just open up canned food, down it, you know, spoon right out of the can, throw it in the trash and right there on the freaking sidewalk, down a bunch of cans of like vegetables and like chili and shit. And then throw it in the side, and then maybe put another cans, and just eat cans, like dollar fifty cans of shit, so cheap. Instead of going to restaurants, so that's the other challenge. Um, okay, wind, elevation, and cold weather. Wind, elevation, and cold weather are not an issue if you have the proper gear on, if you have the proper gloves and um, hats and stuff. So that's not a problem at all. Um, I guess sometimes you can get a little bit worried that you're going to get hit by a car if you're out there in the rain because they may not see you. Some countries, they are very dangerous drivers, like Poland, for example, are unbelievable. You know, like they'll pass you at like one inch to spare and pass each other at 100 miles an hour. And it's just, Mexico's really bad like that. Also, because the roads are really bad. If the roads, there's no, if there's no shoulder on the road, like I was in Mexico and there was no shoulder and there were these huge reeds. And so I couldn't move over and there was no shoulder and there was traffic going 60 miles an hour. Scared the fucking shit out of me. That is the worst part right there. Um, um, okay. Um, also, finding roads. Finding little roads. You go up to a place. You're trying to find a city. All you see is the fucking superhighway, and you're like, where the hell is the little road, and where did it go, and which one is it? That's a little bit difficult. Um, and, uh, and like getting into a town and then being able to roll through the town and being able to pop out of the town in the right direction to the next new town is the most difficult time-consuming problem because you always have to ask people to make sure that you're leaving the right city because the right road because I didn't have like GPS when I was there so because um, if you leave the wrong road in one of these small little towns you could go to the wrong place and they could it could cost some time you, you know you could get out of the way okay so um, cold weather heavy gear Yes, going really light. Like the very first times I biked tour, I guess I was too heavy. You want, I want to go really light. If you look at how I biked tour the last time in 2010, that's the best way to go. Super, super light. Language barrier. There's never a language barrier because if somebody doesn't speak English, you just ask somebody else and somebody else will speak English. There's, no matter where you are, there's always somebody going to be speaking English. So the language barrier is not a problem. Um, although getting directions can be a problem if you're in Asia because women don't give directions. Um, they always try to get their man to give you a direction, even if though he's like a fucking half mile away or a quarter mile away. Um, ethnic women in Europe don't give directions like uh, the Muslims with their veils and stuff. If you, once I asked a lady, 
And she didn't even of one of those veiled Muslims in the Netherlands. If all I said was, "Is this the trail? That, is this the track that goes to the next town?" And she just turned around from me and walked the other direction. Didn't say anything. Just turned around and walked the other direction. That would creep the fuck out of me if I was like a European and I and I there were some of these crazy Muslims around. Who, if you say how oh, Ohio, and they just turn around and walk the other direction, it's like, why the fuck did you come to my fucking country, asshole? If you're gonna be like that, are you supposed to come here to become fucking like us, dude? If you're going to walk the other direction and have a fucking veil over your face, stay in bumfuck hellhole where you come from, man. Anyway, sorry. Got a little emotional there. Um, women, dude. Women. See, because women from those countries are unbelievable. I experience that kind of stuff in Southeast Asia a lot, too. Ask questions and then just... <laughs> Once I asked my wife what direction north was and she got angry with me. Why the fuck would somebody want to know which direction north is? Sorry. Okay, anyway. Um, so, um, what would you change? I would be more motivated to not stay in a hotel and to um, get canned food because, oh, hell, I could have been traveling for a year, dude. And it's way better to travel for a year on canned food than for six months on pizza. And beer, fuck yeah. Although I did drink a lot of beer and I did party a lot, and that was fun. Drinking and partying is not something you're going to regret, even if it's expensive, because those are the memories you're going to have. Not drinking by yourself. I mean drinking with other people and meeting people. That's always, always, always worth it. Um, okay. Um, is it really into your biking videos? Oh, yeah, you really... Well, I'm going to do more biking videos. I'm going to do biking videos all over Colorado. I'm going to do biking videos... I mean, not Colorado, all over Boulder. So hopefully this summer. So stay tuned. All right, peace out.